Meatloaf is still rocking with the best of them. He's got a great show called Rock Tales and Cocktails presents Meatloaf. It returns to Planet Hollywood in Vegas on February 13th. It's a pleasure to see you. Thanks, AJ. So, Michelle, what is the best week? I have a question for Michelle. <laughs> Go ahead. What is the best week? Best week ever is a really best hilarious show on what? VH1. Okay. It's a show on VH1 okay, every it. Friday night at 10 p.m. And we talk about all the crazy happenings that have been on, like, television in the last week. Much oh, like this. Uh, how, how do you have... How long's your show? Like eight hours? <laughs> it's only 30 minutes. We have to condense it. Boy, Short no and kidding. sweet, like most of the Jewish when I date it. Let me ask you a question. Okay, go, Michelle. You do anything for love, but you wouldn't do that. What is that? Oh, goodness. You've never been asked that. No. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's no, Mr. Hammond's judge. I've never, been, I've never been asked what is that, and I've never right. heard, don't let your meatloaf. <laughs> Those two things never heard. Ha, has that. anyone asked you if they could be the gravy to your meatloaf? Um, no, but it, not exactly in those exact sentences, but they mentioned, you know, sides and gravy and okay. just about everything you could possibly. I'm sorry. I'm but, sorry. But, but, but that's okay. I just want to know what the best week ever was, and now I know. Yeah, and I don't know how you, in 30 <laughs> minutes you could possibly do that with all the crazy things that happen I out know. there. And that are happening right now. I yeah. know. This may and, be and, and, and you know what? Of all the crazy things that happen, I don't think a, not a single one of them are true. Well, well, I mean, it's like a generalization. It's no, sort of true. Yes, yeah, sort of true, sort of true. Let's take, for example, right, I heard earlier in the show about Justin Bieber, okay. right? Okay, hold on a second. Okay. If you want to talk about that, we had the guy on, just so I can set it up, yeah. from a radio station in Ottawa, Canada. They're banning Bieber's music until he straightens up his act. So uh, that I, did not go over well with you. No, that did not. I'm, I wanted to ask this guy. When he was 19, what did he do? Mm. Mm. And, you know, I mean, the kid is 19 years old. Grant, granted, his parents didn't give him a great foundation, but he's 19. He's not doing anything that another 19-year-old wouldn't be doing. And believe me, there's not a 19-year-old alive that if he had the money, wouldn't have a Ferrari. Right. True. Devil's advocate. Okay. If you were in the public eye, like he is, with millions of fans, particularly young fans, and I'm not saying you have a responsibility to be a role model to everybody. Yeah. But there is something there. People want to emulate your behavior. You know, man, you started out, you were in the business a long time Twitter before people was around. got to, to, yeah. to know who you were. Okay. If you, it, it's, it, it's not, I don't think it's fair because if you went back to Hollywood in the 30s and the 40s and found out about when Errol Flynn was doing and all, and they just protected them and covered it up and we didn't have... You know, if you move to the left, somebody's going to take your picture and say, AJ, move to the left. I saw it. You know, so I, I, I really don't. I mean, I don't think that he. I'm going to defend him. I mean, he, okay. he needs a foundation. That's what he did. That's what Lindsay Lohan didn't have. But a, it's his a, kid a, but then. Where so, Ronnie Howard so we need did. To, all the when, yes people surrounding him need to start saying no. Well, yes, but saying. it comes back. Long before that, his parents pushed him, and they didn't give him a foundation. So we're now he's 19, and and he's not doing it. So, but I, what I find wrong is, yes, somebody should say no to him, and somebody should help guide him, and Usher, who brought him in, should send him down and say, look, dude, let's do this. But this guy yeah. says, I'm going to ban your records because of what you did, and I'm going. Don't throw rocks until you're, you know, right. you live in a glass, glass house, house, don't throw rocks. Obviously, you've been very candid about struggles that you have had throughout your career. Yeah, I haven't had that many. I, I, I've been pretty grounded and pretty disciplined in my career. You know, I mean, every, there's, no. No, I you love that. You cannot believe. I love that. I mean, I, I read the other day in, in a Celebrity Something Another, oh, he, you know, he canceled shows just in the last few years because of drug problems, and I'm going... Oh man, I'm getting my law. I'm going after him because that's that's just not true. I don't do drugs. I don't drink. I, you know, I'm like, I'm like a straight arrow. I don't talk on off days. I'm so disciplined, it'll kill you. What what helped you though when earlier on? And I'm talking, you know, what 30, was, 30 years ago. What what helped you the most? Dig yourself out well, of those. I, those no, I never talks. got into that. I never. It, it was very, it was like, you know, it's like when, when people say, well, I smoked pot, but I never inhaled. You know, it's like, okay. I, I did never smoke pot because I did one time with uh, uh, Mark Varner from Grand Funk Railroad, and I got so paranoid, I thought there was little people in my ashtray of my car, so I've never touched that stuff again. You know, um, and I never liked the way alcohol tasted. Can't stand the smell of champagne. It makes me gag if somebody's drinking at a table. 
So I was never really tempted with that, but I got grounded because I was in acting world in New York City, mm -hmm. and I was working with very serious actors and who really, you know, weren't Errol Flynn and didn't go out and break up windows, and I, it wasn't like the Keith Moon thing. See, Keith Moon was another one, a young guy that didn't have any... Foundation, yeah. Yeah, any foundation. But for this guy... You know, I understand, yeah, Justin, you need help, you need somebody to say no to you, but for this clown, I'm sorry, I'm going to call him a clown, to say, I'm banning Justin Bieber's records, go well, back to when you Well, he's doing it to try and help him open he, his that's eyes. That's not going to help him. That's not going to help him. That's just going to piss him off. Mm. I'm sorry. Well, and there are people who say, you know, the more you go after somebody who's dealing with difficulties, the more they're going to dig in yes. and, and be defined. Let, let me have a little fun for a moment, okay, if I may, because I, I got you here. I want to play a, a little clip of something you're quite familiar with, and, oh, and then I have a confession. <laughs> okay. Okay, if we could roll that uh, little clip of Paradise. All right, there it is, a portion of the 8 minutes and 28 seconds that is the glory of Paradise by the Dashboard Light. And DJs love that when they were playing Oh, my God. I, I was just telling Michelle. Yeah. Go to I, the to bathroom. I still have dreams of, of getting locked in the bathroom while the songs were playing. However, I'm here to confess to you, as I'm sure many okay. have in the past, that is my go-to karaoke song. Nice. Uh, okay, that's Sing a good. little bit right now. Can we afford it? It's not going to happen. No, no it's not going to happen. And anyway, karaoke's devil worship, but don't tell me <laughs> Your show, your new show, uh, which I'm so excited. Cocktails and cocktails, yeah. which we're not talking about, and leave Bieber alone. Well, here's, here's the thing. Uh, you know, it, it ain't your daddy's meatloaf show. No, it's not. No. If, you, if somebody was said to me that um, I would have had this, after Bad at Hell, I would have had this show that I have now, I would have said, you're out of your mind. Because, you know, back, we were rocking, we were doing this, and we've been, but I've, all, because I came from a theater background, because I, well, you know how I got in theater? Because I wanted to get out of study hall in high school. Mm -hmm. So I went to the counselor and said, I got to get out of study hall. I said, what elective? She goes, drama. And so I went and sat in the back of the class, and, and all of a sudden I got into it. And I was into the front of the class all of a sudden, and, and it just kept, it just kept. And so eventually I did hair. I came to do hair on Broadway in 69. Amazing. And worked for Joe Papp and did, what, four Broadways and, and off Broadways. And come full circle, and, and you're doing this in Vegas. And I was cast in the movie, believe it or not, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholson by Mike Douglas. And, uh, uh, and not Mike, yeah, Michael Douglas. And uh, I went off Mike Douglas, the talk show host, for a second. I'm going, whoa. And um, <clears throat> uh, it got, they went and had a writer's strike, so I didn't do it. So my life would have changed, so I went the right direction. But uh, this show is a lot of fun. And I get to bring back, the char I get, I bring back characters that I've done in plays, and they stand on stage at, out there in Vegas and talk to the audience, talk to them like this, you know what? No. You must have an absolute blast. I it's, have so it, much fun. I get to do really stand cool. up. Uh, we're all getting on a plane. I we're going to see you. And Wait, I, got a, I got tap yeah. dancers. I got, Are you going to be doing a little hip hop on stage? Oh, we, they do. I don't, dear. They, Can when you I do was a little doing, John impression? When, uh, no, I don't do little John. No, little John's little John. I'll leave little John to little John. <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll do the devil worship. So no, it, it, i got to wrap it up here. But oh, it's, too it's, bad. It's anyway, great, great having you But here. Rock Tales and Cocktails is a really fun show, and people and word of mouth is great. And when the ushers and the ticket sellers and the people that work behind the bar come in and watch the show and tell you how much they like it, you, you know got you're something. on the right track. All right. Always good to see you. Yeah. Nice. And by the way, Rock Tales and doc, uh, Cocktails. And, and you play that Justin Bieber track, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, presents Meatloaf. It starts at Planet Hollywood in Vegas on February 13th.